This is an All Ears English podcast, episode 2000. Celebrate 2000 episodes of All Ears English. Welcome to the All Ears English podcast, downloaded more than 200 million times. Are you feeling stuck with your English? We'll show you how to become fearless and fluent by focusing on connection, not perfection. With your American hosts, Lindsay McMahon, the English adventurer, and Michelle Kaplan, the New York radio girl, coming to you from Colorado and New York City, USA. And to get your transcripts delivered by email every week, go to allearsenglish.com forward slash subscribe. Today is a big celebration. It's episode 2000. Today, you'll hear the voices of our listeners where we ask them why they believe in connection, not perfection. Plus, Lindsay and Michelle quiz each other on host trivia. Listen in and enjoy this moment with us today. Hello, Michelle. How are you doing on episode 2000? I am good. I cannot believe this. Like, I mean, I can and I can't. It's kind of, it's, uh, I can believe it because we're dedicated, we're passionate, we love our listeners, we love doing it. But to just hear the number 2000, it's incredible. That's a lot. I remember Y2K, right? Y2K was a big deal. Everyone was like, is the world going to end? Yeah. Right? (laughs) This is our Y2K. Um, That's right. You know, and the world is not going to end. All Ears English will go on. But this is going to be an exciting episode that we've prepared for you guys today to celebrate this big moment. Yes, today is a celebration. Today is all about you guys, our listeners. We would not be here podcasting if we didn't have you, right? You guys have been there for us. We have we have super listeners. We have people who have listened to every episode there is to listen to. <laughs> um, and it's just amazing. So today we are going to have a lot of fun. Like we said, this is a celebration. We're going to be talking about All There Is English. We're going to be hearing from our listeners. Guys, we asked you to submit answers for questions using your voice. And we are going to be playing many of those recordings today. So you guys are going to get to hear yourselves, hear other listeners and and what they think about All Ears English and learning English in general. Yes, I'm so excited. I love when we get our listeners to participate in creating All Ears English episodes. So let's get into it, Michelle. Where are we starting today? All right. Well, I mean, let's just talk a little bit. So, uh, I mean, how does this feel? How does this feel to you? (laughs) It's amazing. It's amazing because we love podcasting. We love that. We know you guys love the show and I see no signs of stopping. So we're going strong, Michelle, into 3000. (laughs) Exactly. Into 3000. So Lindsay, I thought we could start by talking a little bit about what it was like at the beginning, right? So when you started this podcast uh, Mm -hmm. 2000 episodes ago, did you what did you imagine it would become? Yeah. When I started this podcast, it started as a pure hobby. I really didn't have an idea that we would build a company behind it. You know, it was, I had another company at the time and that was the company I thought was going to become my, you know, my, my business, right. My permanent Mm -hmm. thing. Uh, And I thought, oh, oh, there's English is something that we'll just have fun. We'll joke around. We'll see what it feels like to be on a microphone. Uh, And it ended up switching, flipping itself. So after the first hundred episodes, I realized there's something very special here that I don't have in my other business. And so we wanted to continue Allers English. What about you, Michelle? I mean, when, when you came on our team, you were just getting married at that time. Right? Yeah. So going back to late 2014, um, I remember I remember submitting the video, which we've talked about. Um, <laughs> yeah. And I remember when I got the call, I was teaching a class I, I or I was about to teach a class. Maybe I remember the room I was in and I remember I got a call that I got the job and I was very, very excited because, <laughs> you know, I have a radio background and I had kind of done a career change to teaching English. But when I heard about this, where it was a combination of two of the things that I loved, yeah. I was just like really, really, really hoping that I was going to get it. <laughs> so it was a really exciting moment in my life. But I don't know that I could have imagined like what it would become that, you know, still 2000 episodes later, we'd be going. Um, So I was so excited. Yeah, at this time in my life, I was teaching in Manhattan, I was 
get I was engaged, getting ready for to get married. And now I've been married for seven and a half years and I have two children. So oh a my lot God. Has changed. Yeah, your life has changed so much, Michelle, in the yes. last 10 years. Yeah. Yes. I've traveled, I've grown my family, but guys, one thing that has remained is my love for podcasting and our my love for our listeners and for what we do. Lindsay, what has changed for you in the past 2000 episodes? Oh my gosh, so much has changed too. I've also gotten married in the last 10 years. I've moved to Denver, Colorado from Boston. I mean, just a lot has changed, but the the through line really is our podcast, Michelle. That is the through line in our lives here that yeah, it just gives me energy. You know, it just gives mm-hmm. a chance to be creative and always thinking about our listeners when we get on the mic. So, you know, this is also the 10 year anniversary of Allers English this year. So we're going to do a separate celebration for that in September. That's a whole other thing. Um, mm-hmm. It's a big year, Michelle. It's a it's big a year. It's a big year. Guys, so now that we've talked about our journeys a little bit, let's get to our listeners because this episode is not about us. We're going right. to share some fun things in this in this party episode, I'm going to call it. Um, Um, But this is really about you guys. So we asked our listeners who they learn English for and why they believe in connection, not perfection. So first, we're going to hear about who our listeners learn English for, right? So, uh, or why did you want to learn? But why is this important, right? What is this motivation? And what is important to you in life? Oh my gosh, it's so important, Michelle, knowing the who, the who and the why are important. The who is so important because we can think of that person, right, Michelle? We can think of that person and how exactly our work is going to impact them. For our listeners, how they're learning English is going to impact that person, right? So, right, but- right, right. So, first, we are going to hear from our listeners about who. Uh, so, we are going to hear from Jai, uh, Joe, who is a super listener, uh, and Yogendra, uh, Laura, Jeff, Carmelina Garcia, who is also another super, super listener. listener. Yeah. So, we are going to hear from these guys to, they're going to introduce themselves and share uh, their thoughts for you. My name is Jia Yi. I'm from Harbin, China. I'm learning English for myself so that I can communicate with people all over the world. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm from Taiwan. I'm learning English to connect with people and as an English teacher in a non-native country, it is essential for me to use English for my work. My husband is my inspiration as he is also a non-native English speaker but has reached a near-native level, which I greatly admire. My name is Yogendra Patel. I am from Charlotte, North Carolina. I am learning English for myself so that I can become a U.S. licensed pharmacist. All right, Lindsay, that was amazing. So we heard from a few of that list um, right now, but what I thought was so cool was a lot of these you know, listeners are learning English for themselves. Um, what do you think about that? Amazing. You know, I love the idea that our listeners can pick up a phone, an iPhone, or Android, and have a, me- a way to measurably increase their success in lives for themselves uh, by listening to our show. It's fantastic. So good. It's a direct path to success. Exactly. Love it. So now we are going to hear from the rest of our listeners who also talk a little bit about learning for themselves and why they're learning. So um, go ahead and listen to these now. Hi guys, my name is Laura, I'm from Brazil, and I'm learning English for myself because I'm really passionate about it, and it brings me so much joy, you have no idea. My name is Jeff, I'm from China, I'm learning English for myself and my daughter so that I can advance my career and help my daughter learn about the world and also get her on the right path to good communications. Hello, my name is Carmelino Garcia. I'm from Mexico. I'm learning English for myself because I like listening to music, watching movies and series in English and for getting a better job. Thank you. All right, Lindsay, I loved that. That was amazing. I, you know, continuing to hear people do this for themselves, but also for family members, yes. um, right? We have people mentioning their children, um, themselves, uh, goals for the future. I just love that. Don't you, Lindsay? I do, Michelle. I feel like it's amazing if we can do something as parents, right, to immediately impact the success our children are going to have. I feel like if I have kids, I'd like them to learn Spanish from day, from day mm. one. If I can expose them to Spanish and maybe Chinese or some other language, it mm. would be amazing. 
It would just change the way they think. So, right. Yeah. Let's just talk a little bit about why people might learn English. Um, So, Lindsay, you came up with this quote. Tell us about this quote you found. (laughs) Well, I didn't come up with it. (laughs) Oh, you didn't. Well, you you found it. Brought it to our (laughs) podcast. (laughs) Yes. This is a very famous quote. Anyone that studies personal development knows this quote by Jim Rohn. He's a famous personal development expert or leader or thought leader. He says, the two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. Guys, we are going to now listen uh, to what our listeners had to say. Um, So we're going to hear from many of them. And we also have a super listener in this section, Zainab Ali from Sri Lanka. So, yeah, and we yeah. also have uh, Megumi, uh, Vicky, uh, Nasir, Haley, Alfredo, uh, Martins, uh, Pe- uh, and Pantipa. So, let's get into this now. Hi, I'm Megumi from Japan, who's a mother of three kids and raising them in English since they were born. I listen to this amazing podcast in order to make our conversation as natural as possible, and it's been so helpful. This is Vicky from Mexico, and I do learn English because I'm an English teacher, and my students are my inspiration to get better every day for them. My name is Zainab. I'm from Sri Lanka. My inspiration is, um, I think it's my own self. The reason why uh, I learn English is because I want to go to USA or Canada for living purpose or for the purpose to pursue my studies there. My name is Haley. I'm from Taiwan. I'm learning English for myself so that I don't have regrets looking back. Being able to speak native like English is something I aim for in my life. Hello, Learn English Watch Checking. It's Martin Alfred from Angola. I'm learning English for my sisters so that they realize there are more opportunities when you're international and can effectively engage with people all around the world. I am Pantipa from Thailand. I am learning English for myself and my extended families abroad so that I can communicate with them well and also broaden my horizon. I love it. I love hearing the voices of our listeners and just there's something about the human voice that's just incredible. You know, we don't yes. get to hear the voices of our listeners yes. very much. I want to say a big shout out to Pantipa, who we heard from in that segment. Right, Michelle? Uh, mm-hmm. She came to our live event in Boston in 2013. We got to meet her in person. Amazing. Yes, I remember Pantipa. She's such a nice person and yes. she is so motivated. And guys, I can tell from all of the listeners that we just heard from, you guys are all a special group. You know, we have teachers, we have people learning for exchange families, for their children. Yes. Um, it's it's just amazing what you guys are all doing. So who you're learning for, why you're learning. And now we're going to get into this next piece. We thought that we could have our listeners share what connection, not perfection, means to them. So, Lindsay, how did we come up with this idea of connection, not perfection? Can you share a little bit about this? Yeah, this came, We well, first of all, it came up in an episode. I think it was somewhere around episode 53. We actually said it as we were trying to describe our philosophy on learning English. So it came out very organically, naturally. We were looking for the words and we and we hit it. And then we thought, oh my gosh, that is what we stand for. And I, and I personally realized that's what I stand for personally, because I went back in my mind to my trip to South America, a year of backpacking. Mm. You know, I traveled through South America for that year. And my number one goal was to learn Spanish. But I spent a lot of time around native Spanish speakers feeling a little bit disconnected, feeling a little bit out of connection, because I was so worried about making mistakes. Mm-hmm. So in that moment, I had some moments of loneliness. I also had some moments of feeling great, but I I realized we want to make sure that no one ever feels disconnected due to a language, right? Language should bring us together. So we should never be focusing on our mistakes. We should always seek to connect. That's where it came Mm -hmm. from, Michelle. I love that. So guys, that really became the motto of the show, right? We are, you know, we are not language purists. Yeah, we're not, you know, we're teachers, but we're, we're, 
you know, we're not obsessed with the grammar all the time. We're not really, you know, we're just looking for that, that moment to connect with someone. And instead of being stuck in your head and thinking, I can't do it, I can't do it because is this the present simple? Is this the past simple? (laughs) How do I do the future? Past continuous, whatever, you know, blah, 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 blah. Right. You know, we can get really caught up in that stuff when this is really about connection. We have to think about why we are doing that. So guys, that's why we wanted to hear from you, our listeners, why you believe in connection, not perfection. So now we're going to hear from Haley, Carmelino, Jiayi, um, MD Daniel, um, Shaha Jalal, uh, who is a super listener, and Joe. So let's listen to what these listeners have to say about connection, not perfection. I believe in connection, not perfection, because when it comes to communication, it's all about conveying understandable messages instead of speaking perfect English. I believe in connection, not perfection, because the important thing is to get your message across. Not speak English perfectly. Nobody can speak English perfectly. I believe in connection, not perfection, because in this way, I open myself to other people. It not only provides me with more opportunities to practice my English, but also with friendships with others. I believe in connection, not perfection, because nothing is perfect. And in my life, I have searched for perfection a long time. And then I realized connecting with people is important, not perfecting it. I believe in connection, not perfection, because I think that our connections and relationships with others are more valuable than striving for perfection. All right, Michelle, what do we Uh, think about this? I love it. I love what our listeners said. I like, like Carbon Lino said something like, um, nobody can speak English perfectly. And I, I, when I heard that, I was like, that is so perfect because no, it is so true. Lindsay, do you think you speak English perfectly? <laughs> no, we absolutely do not. And anyone who tells you they do is just saying ridiculous things, right? Yeah. No, na- not even like no native speaker speaks English perfect. And what is perfect English anyways? You know, the linguists, grammarians could debate that too. So it's yeah. so true what Carmelino said. Yes, that is true. So I absolutely love that, guys. I loved hearing from you. So now we are going to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun. Uh, I have my phone up, so I have my trivia questions. Okay. So, Lindsay, we've been (laughs) together for a a long time on this podcast, Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we know a lot about each other, but um, I thought we would do some trivia um, for each other, and I'll ask you a question about myself and see if you know the answer. I'm a little bit nervous because, guys, we did not show these questions to each other (laughs) (laughs) okay ask me the first question michelle i'm ready what is it? all right my favorite movie is a love actually Oh, you're giving me choices okay i'm giving you i can do that without choices oh okay what's my favorite movie all right so let's hear it what's my favorite movie i think it's love actually okay a love actually b father of the bride or c Vegas vacation. Oh no, it's Father of the Bride. Yes. <laughs> love those are all three of my favorite movies. I love Love Actually. We've talked about that all the time. Um but my favorite if you had to ask me one, Father of the Bride 1 and 2. Yeah. I can't even choose. You're, you're such a 90s and aughts movie person, Michelle. I love it. It's so good. I it's am so good. I am <laughs> It would be fun for our listeners, guys, as you're doing, you're hearing this trivia, think if you know the answer, right? Maybe That's the know. point here. What do you know? How many episodes have you listened to? Here's my question for you, Michelle. And there is yeah. no, there are no choices. <laughs> oh, no, I'm scared. So ready? This is my yeah. dog's name. He fur. Oh, you got it. Yes. You got it. I think maybe our <laughs> listeners might struggle with that a little more, but you got it naturally. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Okay. I'm ready. All right. All right. Okay, fine. I won't give you choices. Let's see if you just know. (laughs) All right. Where did I study abroad in college? You studied abroad in England. Yes, in London. (laughs) Very good. We did. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure about London, but I knew England. So I just went for the same answer and said England. Um, That's fine. All right. Here we go. Michelle, if I had a choice, would I choose ice cream, cookies, or cake? Ice cream. Yes. (laughs) Or I feel very strongly about that. So that was some fun trivia, guys. And we did not know that ahead of time. (laughs) Um, So that was fun. So guys, now we are going to get back to our last set of uh, listener commentary. Also talking about connection, not perfection. Uh, We're going to hear from Yogendra, Dref, Laura, Pantipa, Nisar, Megumi, and Zainab. So let's get to the audio to hear what they had to say. All right, let's get into it. 
I believe in connections, not perfection, because the perfection itself is hindrance to the connection with the people. I believe in connection, not perfection, because connection creates value for you, your family, friends, and colleagues, and potentially the whole world. Whereas perfection, usually for yourself. I believe in connection, not perfection, because it allows you to have meaningful conversations with people. And when you're focusing on connection, you're able to convey your thoughts, feelings, and ideas so much better. Thanks for all your English motto that promotes the saying "connection, not perfection," which I couldn't agree more. Because with good connection, it will pave the way for various opportunities that may lead to your success, both professionally and personally. I believe in connection, not perfection, because it makes you to speak more fluently and speak like the native speakers. I believe in connection, not perfection, because now I listen and use English every day with my kids. My brain and mouth got used to speaking English, and I feel English is just a tool which makes me easier to communicate with native speakers whenever I see them in Japan. The reason I、uh, believe in connection and not perfection uh, is uh, someday I want to want to become a teacher,、uh, a teacher teacher. So.、Uh, Uh, that is、uh, one of the main reasons why I learn English. Love that! Oh my gosh, that was amazing! Like these really touched me, Lindsay. To、yes. hear what connection, not perfection, means to our listeners, it's very touching. Yeah, I think that connection, not perfection, is the kind of concept that goes straight to the human heart. Right? It goes straight as soon as we hear it, we say, "Yeah, that's right." Right? I'm a human being. I'm on this planet to connect. And I'll never be perfect, and I'm okay with that. It goes way across lang, way beyond language learning,、yeah. Michelle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. This is for life, guys. Yeah. And so I love. I mean, everybody said such great things. I love like what Laura said about having meaningful conversations and conveying what you want to say and how that's、yes. important. Also, Yogendra, I love this. Perfection is a hindrance. <laughs> it's so. I、terrible. love that.、Yeah. It's true. It gets it gets in the way. It gets in the way of things. Yeah. And. It doesn't mean, you know. Of course, we we don't want you to get the wrong idea. We want you to succeed, and we want you to improve, and all the goals you have for yourselves. But we want you to do it with the right mindset. Yes, yes. We want you to understand your priorities. We have、mm-hmm. to. Ha- we, as we said before, Michelle. Anytime we're going to undergo something big, like learning a language, we have to get our priorities straight. And what we're suggesting to you, what we believe in, is we put connection above being correct. <laughs> Lindsay,、uh, so I just want to thank all our listeners who submitted audio.、Uh, even if we couldn't get to you,、um, we just wanted to thank you all.、Uh, we had some super listeners in there today.、Um, great commentary, great things, and I mean, I wanted to kind of just end this episode by talking about what we've learned from our listeners, not from the. From the quotes we've just listened to, but also just in general, over two thousand episodes. Yeah. For me, I've learned resilience.、Um, I love that. Our listeners stay with us because they want to achieve their dreams, and I'm inspired by our listeners. They really want to learn, and they're professionals, their mothers, their fathers, their friends, brothers, sisters, everything.、Um, it's a global community, and just realizing, learning from that that we have. You know, I think just like a commentary on the world today is like we have so many things that you know tie us together,、um, and so many things that you know that so many ways in which everybody is similar. Yeah, and、um, you know these goals, these dreams, and、um, so I've really so many things that instead of like tearing us apart, which I think we see a lot of in the world today, there's more that brings us together. And I've just learned so much over the past two thousand episodes. I've enjoyed getting to. Get our listener questions. Those are all always really fun to see what you guys are thinking, what you want to do, and really always great questions.、Um, yes, and, and just like always trying for the next level. Always, what's next? What's next? So I am really exactly.、Yeah. So Lindsay, what about you? What have you listened? What have you learned from our listeners in two thousand episodes? Well, Michelle, I think that's it. Exactly what you said. It's courage. I've learned courage to go out and maybe start learning a new language myself, right? I think it's easy for us as teachers to kind of, you know, we're te- we're the teachers, right? We're teaching, we're showing you guys how to do this, 
But for me in the last few months, going back out there and learning Arabic from scratch has taught me that humility. And now I understand what it is to go back out and start from scratch with a new language that takes immense courage and humility. And so that's mm -hmm. what I'm learning from our listeners, what I've seen from our listeners in our live events when we've met Rodrigo, Pantipa, Massimo, uh, yeah, Massimo. Leila, our amazing listeners in Tokyo, in New York City, in I Boston. You know, when we got to meet them, we saw them having that courage mm -hmm. going out to the North End, Michelle in Boston and striking up a conversation with a stranger on the street because that was the assignment. Right. And yeah. I, I just think um, I'm just inspired by that. And I want to always keep learning myself. I want to always be in that spot where it's a little uncomfortable. And that's yeah. what I've learned from our listeners, Michelle. Yeah. I love it. I think we'll leave it at that. Lindsay, I will see you on the next 2000 episodes. And, so, good. Uh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Just thank you from the bottom of our heart, you know, for for everything, guys, for listening, for sticking with us. And yes. we promise to keep on podcasting and we're yeah. we're going to keep on keep it going. Yeah, guys, send us your amazing questions for the next 2000 yes. episodes. Yes. All right, Michelle, thanks for being on episode 2000 today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys. See you Take soon. Take care. Bye. Thanks for listening to All Ears English. Would you like to know your English level? Take our two-minute quiz. Go to allearsenglish.com forward slash fluency score. And if you believe in connection, not perfection, then hit subscribe now to make sure you don't miss anything. See you next time.